Yo guys, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you back to another video. Before we get into this video, I would like to tell you guys to join the Discord server, link in the description of the video. You can talk to me, play with me, and put voice suggestions in there as well. You can grind to get different roles, and just have a lot of fun. Also, I would like to thank you all so much for the support, and if you end up liking the video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. With all that being said, let's get into What if Goku was born with Freezer's potential? Part 12. We're starting this video in Zeno's palace. Goku just appeared using the Zeno button and is greeted by the Grand Priest. The Grand Priest then takes Goku to Zeno and Goku asks about the Tournament of Power. Zeno says that that seems very fun and he wants it to happen as soon as possible. But Goku has another request. Goku wants all of the Gods of Destruction to also be able to participate. Zeno looks at the Grand Priest, and then the Grand Priest smiles. The Grand Priest tells Goku to go to his maximum power, and Goku transforms into his mystic Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken x 20. The Grand Priest says that, because of Goku's power, even the Angels will be able to compete. However, the only person the Angels are allowed to fight is Goku. Goku is confused, and he asks that don't the angels have a rule that they are not allowed to fight? The Grand Prix says yes, but there will be an exception for this tournament, and this tournament only. Goku is super excited, and he goes back to Beerus World to tell everyone about the tournament. Goku arrives and tells everyone that the tournament is going to happen. They would be afraid, but if the Grand Priest needs to allow the Angels to fight only Goku to make it fair, then they should have nothing to worry about. The Grand Priest then arrives, and he has all the rules for the tournament. The rules of the Tournament of Power are the same as in canon, however, 30 minutes into the tournament, the Angels and Gods of Destruction are allowed to participate. So, three quarters of the way into the tournament. The exhibition matches happen with Goku, Gohan and Raditz. They all easily defeat their opponents, and when Toppo confronts Goku with a single key blast, Toppo is sent flying and nearly dead. Keep in mind that Goku is heavily suppressed and is in his base form when doing this. Then, one of the Gods of Destruction has enough and asks the Grand Priest if all the Gods of Destruction can face Goku right now and if they beat Goku then their universes won't get erased. Zeno says that sounds fun, so they agree and Goku is ready to battle. The first God of Destruction goes to rush at Goku, trying to land a punch on Goku's face, but he catches a punch while in his base form. He then stares into their eyes and transforms into a Super Saiyan, kicking them all in the stomach and sending them flying into another God of Destruction. All the other Gods of Destruction rush in at the same time, and Goku's just smiling the entire time. He jumps up, kicking one of the Gods of Destruction in the face, and then spinning around to hit another God of Destruction with a Key Blast. Goku could easily defeat all of them if he transformed into even a Super Saiyan 2, but he wants to test his power. Goku gets smacked into the ground, but he lands on his feet, 
back flipping over one of the gods of destruction, and then he hits them with a dragon fist. Goku then decides, now this is far too easy, so he goes back into his base form to continue the fight. The gods of destruction try to take this as an advantage, and all of them shoot multiple balls of Hakai at Goku, but for a split second, something changes within Goku, and he dodges every single ball of Hakai. There's a strange purple aura around Goku, but then it quickly fades. Goku has no clue what just happened, but whatever that was, he will have to figure out and try to do it again at a later time. However, before he has time to think about this, he gets punched in the gut by Belmod, and then kicked away by Beerus. Goku wipes some blood from his mouth, and then smiles. Two Gods of Destruction appear behind him, and grab him by his arms, restraining him. The remaining Gods of Destruction all stand in front of him, and say, HAKAI! But, the purple aura around Goku appears once again, and his eyes become silver. He then dodges every single Hakai, and breaks out of the grip of the two Gods of Destruction restraining him. Then, he moves so fast that not even the angels can see him, and Goku knocks out every single God of Destruction, and they are all at the brink of death. Even though Goku was heavily suppressing himself, and since he isn't used to whatever this form is, his punches were still incredibly weak compared to what they could be. The angels quickly heal their gods of destruction, and Goku reverts to his base form. The power he just felt is like nothing he has ever felt before. The Grand Priest says, now it seems Goku has access to Ultra Instinct. However, unlike the gods, he accessed it via transformation. Now Goku has a new goal to reach before the Tournament of Power. Goku tells Raditz and Gohan to gather the other fighters for the tournament. And then, after Goku and Whis head back to Earth, they head into the time chamber until the tournament begins. So, they can solely focus on Goku reaching, and also mastering, Ultra Instinct. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and also share the channel, as it would be greatly appreciated. With all that being said, I hope to see you all in the next episode of... What if Goku was born with Freezer's potential?